where the center for direct catalytic conversion of biomass to biofuels. And our goal in this center is to increase the carbon and energy efficiencies of biofuels production. The Department of Energy has um, invested in 46 energy frontier research centers across the US. And the goal of these energy frontier research centers is to make groundbreaking innovations that will lay the foundation in 10 or 15 years time for new technologies that will deliver the green economy. I'm interested in the way that molecules in the cell wall are put together. It's the cell wall that constrains the rate and the direction of growth and the final size and the final stature and form of a plant in the field is really determined by its cell wall architecture. We want to increase the amount of cell wall because it's cell wall that, that is responsible for biomass and we also want to change the quality of the cell wall. So if we can gain control of the expression of those genes, imagine how through genetic control we would be able to modify that structure. And then there's being able to deconstruct the wall down to useful molecules that, that we might use for biofuels, for example. The processes that are currently envisaged are to use biological catalysts, enzymes. What we want to do, because these, these enzymes are not robust, we want to be able to use chemical catalysts, so catalysts that are built of inorganic, non-living materials, because these will be more robust and they'll be renewable. We'll be able to use them in the process over and over again. So our project is to build a knowledge base and really we want to get at the um, atomic and molecular uh, interactions of the chemical catalysts with the biomass molecules. Or we want to understand what happens during those thermal treatments to the biomass molecules. And we want to understand that at a very fundamental level. So what we want to do is push that 30 to 40% of recovery to 